chicken jalapeno popper crock pot soup. Huh. Okay, so this is a new item at Trader Joe's. These flowers make me happy. This is my, my big girl growing up, going to preschool next year. It was like a little snack activity. Oh, it smells so good. my channel it's Lauren back with another video on how I'm losing 150 pounds during my new healthy living lifestyle journey and today I'm going to share with you a what I eat in a day I do follow the WW blue plan where I get 38 points a day as well as I calorie count for a calorie deficit um, to make sure I'm staying under 1800 calories but for me most importantly I need to make sure I'm eating enough calories when I follow the WW plan as well because when I don't double track I sometimes fall under 1300 calories a day and that's just not enough for me to keep progressing. So far I have lost 72 pounds using this method and I really feel like I've done so much to fix my relationship with food and my body image and just my whole mentality about eating and food as sustenance for our bodies to do the things we need to do throughout the day. So today is actually kind of a busy day. I am someone who loves to make breakfast. If you guys check out my Instagram, you will see my love of breakfast food, of eggs. But today I'm taking my three-year-old daughter, Lila, on our first preschool visit. We're looking to get her all registered and set to go for the fall. So mama's gotta get going this morning. It's uh, getting late. Today, we're just keeping it simple for breakfast. For breakfast today, I have one slice of whole grain toast with a little bit of spray. I can't believe it's not butter on it for zero points. And then just some strawberries. And of course, I have my coffee. I actually just got my Nespresso machine. It's an Nespresso Virtuo. It makes coffee and espresso and I've been loving playing around with it. If you guys are Nespresso or espresso people who like to make your own lattes, cappuccinos, fun specialty coffee drinks at home, let me know down in the comments your favorite recipe. I'm really trying to figure out some new ones to mix it up. Today I just used a Starbucks medium roast um, coffee pod and I just put in two tablespoons of the Chobani sweet cream coffee creamer, which is my favorite right now. So there you go, that's breakfast. It has been a crazy morning. We were on our way out of the house because we had a tour at a local preschool that we're looking at for Lila for the fall and my car wouldn't start. Josh was working on my car over the weekend and I'm sure the battery just like ran down while he was working on it and then I didn't drive it yesterday because we just stayed home. So that was fun. I had to like move our appointment to a later time and like get the car jumped but I had to like charge the portable battery that we use when we have issues. It's just been a day. I also spilled coffee all over myself this morning. Luckily I was able to get it out really quickly so I didn't have to like change clothes and stuff. But yeah, it was all over the kitchen, the floor, my clothes. It's been a day. Anyway, we just had our tour at the preschool. It was super cute, we're really excited. Lila, are you excited for preschool? Yeah. Yeah. Anyway, we got our tour done and now we're gonna head down to another town in our area to do some errands. I have some things that I need to pick up and um, it's been a hard day. And normally in the past when I've had a hard day, I've eaten to make myself feel better, but I'm not doing that today. Instead, I think I'm gonna go pick myself up some flowers and go to Trader Joe's, cause that makes me happy too. I love flowers. So let's go have some fun and make our day a little bit brighter. So we are finally home. We have been gone all day, running errands, doing some girl shopping, just me and Lila. And it's actually been really fun. Even though our morning started out a little bit rough, we turned it around. Um, so yeah, we had Lila's preschool tour this morning. We loved it. We're really excited. She got to meet some of the teachers and see the classrooms and the music room. So we're excited for that. My, my big girl growing up, going to preschool next year. Um, and then we did go to lunch and we went to Panera and I totally forgot to take a picture of my lunch to share with you guys, but I got the barbecue chicken salad, which is what I always almost get there. Um, and I did the full order, but I asked for the dressing on the side and then I used half the dressing. So that kind of helped cut down the points a little bit because if you have like the full amount of dressing on, that's like six points. So that cut the dressing down to three and I want to say the whole salad was seven, so it was probably like a 10 point lunch. I pre-tracked my dinner so I know I'm good to go for the day. Um, that's something I like to do if I know what I'm doing for dinner and I only know because it was something I meal prepped earlier this week and we had a bunch and Josh is working late tonight so I know I'm just 
keeping it simple and having some of my chicken jalapeno popper crock pot soup. Ha, huh, it's so good. It is going to be one of our new summer crock pot staples. And it is hard, I feel like, to find good warm weather crock pot dishes that you wanna eat. Cause when it's like hot out, I feel like I'm always in the mood for like grilling and doing more fresh things and salads and simple meals, like grilled protein with sides of veggies and fruit and stuff. But it's nice to also have some of those crock pot or one pot meals because they do leftovers and you can meal prep pretty easy that way. Anyway, um, that's what I'm having for dinner and I will share, I recorded it last night when I made it. Um, so I'm gonna share making the whole recipe with you guys in just a little bit. That's what I had for lunch and then I actually stopped at Trader Joe's with Lila. Again, using my trusty trolley bags. I freaking love these. They're linked below as one of my favorite things along with the cold brew coffee maker and my Nespresso. All of those things that I mention over and over again in my videos that are like truly my favorite things that I use all the time that I get asked about by you guys all the time. You can always check for them in the description below. That way you guys can get links if I have any discount codes for you guys to help you out. I'll put them there as well. Anyway, I'm gonna show you guys a quick Trader Joe's haul because we only actually ran in there for a couple little things and also flowers because flowers make me happy sorry y'all i'm kind of a sweaty mess it is like 85 and sunny today it feels like the dead heat of georgia like early summer before before we hit the 90s and just stay there for most of the summer running in and out of stores and in the car that was hot with lila we're both done for the day anyway i'm going to share with you guys this quick trader joe's haul it's around five o'clock but um I'm not like hungry, hungry for dinner yet. I just fed Lila. We have a um, video chat call with my parents so they can talk to Lila and hear about her tour at the preschool. I'm gonna get her to bed. And then after that, I'll be right back, which will be in like 30 seconds for you guys. Um, <laughs> we'll be right back with that dinner recipe and maybe a dessert. I think I have points left for dessert tonight too. All right, let's do a quick Trader Joe's unbagging haul. I got these gorgeous flowers. Look at how pretty these green hydrangea are. So I got one bunch of those and then one of the white and they have three stems each. So I think I'm going to like mix and match them into some little short bases I have. I'm actually going to film that too. I think I can just show you guys some fun flower ending because that's, it's like, honestly, one thing I really love doing is just having fresh florals in the house. It makes my mood so much better. And this was really a way that I transitioned myself from thinking on like days when I was having a rough time or a stressful time, instead of caving and going for junk food or treats, I treated myself to flowers, something that was non-edible. I changed that habit and I mean, I get something beautiful to look at that lasts for a few days instead of that tastes good for a few minutes. Anyway, that's one of my little, <laughs> little tips of how I've been uh, changing some habits during my my healthy living lifestyle journey. I got another fresh pineapple. These are doing so good right now. The last one was so sweet and delicious. This looked interesting. This is, you know, not necessarily a low point item, but again, that's why we just do our one portion and make sure we're on top of the serving size. Um, and it's just fun to try some different things, you know, every now and then you don't have to only eat diet food when you're on WW and losing weight. It's all about staying under your calorie deficit and staying within your points and um, you can try new fun things. So this is a new item at Trader Joe's. It's the Cajun style Alfredo sauce, spicy and creamy Alfredo sauce bursting with Cajun style flavors. I think this might actually be really good on some pasta with maybe um, some flavored chicken sausage. I have a ton of flavored chicken sausages that I'm trying to figure out some good recipes for right now. Um, so anyway, that's that. Got some more organic yellow corn tortilla chips. We like to get, it's basically the same thing from Aldi all the time. There are go-to chips. This is just the Trader Joe's version. We have a ton of fresh salsa right now. And Josh was mentioning um, he's been taking sandwiches a lot to work because it's something cold. He doesn't have to reheat when he's out on site. And um, he was saying he wanted some chips to go with his sandwich. So chips and salsa is always something we try to keep on hand. Some more raspberries. These looked super good. I love raspberries right now, just for snacking on. And then our final item, 
some red Argentinian shrimp. And <laughs> you guys know, I've told you before, Josh is allergic to shellfish. So days and uh, weeks when he has nights to work, I splurge on shrimp and other shellfish kind of stuff because I don't eat it when he's in the house. Whoops, one more item, I forgot. I grabbed some of this the last time I was at Trader Joe's and I loved it. I made sushi bowls out of it and had like my own little poke bowl and with the fresh um, pineapple and just like cucumbers, soy sauce over rice. This was so yummy. I do want to get some pickled ginger as well to put on that, um, but I forgot to grab some when I was at Trader Joe's. So I'll probably just grab that at Walmart sometime this week. Anyway, that's uh, my teeny tiny little quick Trader Joe's haul. One last item. I forgot these in the car because I let Lila have a couple on our way home. These are the Trader Joe's Cinnamon School Book Cookies, and you guys know I love a theme, and today with going to visit her preschool, I thought this was so cute. It was like a little snack activity, a uh, snack and activity for Lila, so I think um, we're trying to work more on her letters before she starts school this fall. So these are all like letters and numbers, so cute, maybe we'll be able to pull through and spell out her name. Anyway, I did scan these and they are five points for 15 cookies, which these are like pretty good size, little cinnamon, very similar to like animal cracker cookies. Um, so I probably would never even eat 15 of them. So that's probably not bad. You probably have like two or three points worth and it'd be a great little just like sweet bite. It's getting closer to midnight. I try to get closer to you. Drinking courage from my red cup now. I will soon make a move. done. Lila's in bed. My house is quiet. <laughs> We've been gone all day and it's crazy. I still have a mess in the sink to clean up from this morning. We ran out of the house with all the car stuff going on. Um, so I have a whole day's worth of dishes to clean tonight. But before I get to it, I'm going to sit down and have dinner. So I'm going to go ahead and insert the footage I took yesterday of me making this crock pot chicken jalapeno popper soup. I'm telling you guys, it is going to be our new summer crock pot staple. And then I'm going to relax for a little bit, get the sink and the kitchen all cleaned up. And then I'll check in with you guys later for a points recap for the day, as well as figure out if I'm going to fit in a dessert or not tonight.
jalapeno popper soup. I topped it with a little more cheese, a tablespoon of light sour cream, and some fresh cilantro chopped. And this honestly is coming in only at 10 points per serving, not including the toppings. I have to calculate that in. Check the sidebar for the points and calories for everything combined. Oh, it smells so good. And it is that time. I officially got in my sixth glass of water today. And then I have 10 points left still for today. I don't know why, but the last couple weeks, I mean, I'm having a hard time using up all of my points. Um, but I still feel really satisfied and I'm more on target with calories. So I'm okay with it. I'm okay with the fact that I'm under. But I am going to have one of these Greek yogurt yasa bars and mint chocolate chip. I got this really big box um, from Costco and it was a really good value. Um, it was a good price for this many of these bars because I feel like the regular size boxes only have like six in them. And so this was a good, a good Costco purchase. I have a whole... Costco, my first time shopping at Costco, review and haul coming up um, a little bit later, maybe next week on my channel. So make sure you guys tune into that if you are Costco people or have been considering whether Costco is worth it for you. We're only a family of three, so we definitely had to do some contemplation if you know this was going to work for us so i have my whole review though coming up this was a good buy there um so yeah i'm gonna have one of these guys it's 100 calories and five points and that's how i'm finishing my night and i can't remember if i shared my teamy this morning i am still following the teamy 30 day detox this month i do the skinny tea Every morning, it's a teaspoon of loose leaf tea leaves that I use in my infuser cup. And then the colon tea, which are little tea bags um, in individual portions, that I do every other night. Tonight is not a night I'm due for the colon tea, so I just had the skinny tea this morning. That came in at zero points and 10 calories for the tea. I usually add some lemon slices and warm water. So um, I can't remember if I shared those or not, but I added those into my day too. So here's the roundup for tonight and how I ended up on points and calories. Thanks so much for watching. Please subscribe if you want to keep following along with more of my videos about my healthy living lifestyle journey. Please hit that like button if you enjoyed today's What I Eat in a Day video on the WW Blue Plan and counting calories for calorie deficit. Leave me a comment down below and let me know what plan are you guys following right now? Are you counting calories on one of the WW plans? If so, what color? Are you able to be just intuitively eating and checking in on your body? Intermittent fasting, keto, Whole30, counting macros. So many ways that we are all checking in on our health and our own health journeys. There are a million ways to do it. You just have to find what's right for you, what works for you, and what's healthy for you and your body. But I'm curious to know. I love getting to know you guys. Thank you so much for following along with my journey. And I'd love to support you on yours. Let me know down in the comments. And until next time, bye. I always do.